What's up guys, Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you and we got some more news to talk about. It's going to be the Season 8 map updates uh, that Mayhem's going to bring to Kings Canyon. Let's get right into it. If you guys do like these news videos on my channel, please let me know down in the comments below. I want to report more Apex news, but with my schedule it's a little bit tough. But I will bring the news as, as fast as possible or as often as I can for you guys. Make sure to drop a like and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more Apex Legends videos. Now let's get right into the map changes. So, Season 8 map changes with apex okay king's canyon map changes okay so if you guys don't know from my previous video uh oh you know doing the overview of the rank guys we're gonna get the new king's canyon map plus olympus for ranked next season starting off with king's canyon first so season eight map changes identifying our goals for king's canyon okay we re revisit king's canyon for a third time guys this is the third time they've changed the map um, OG Kings Canyon has always been my favorite. RIP Skulltown. I do miss Skulltown a lot. It's the only place you should ever land. Um, but a story that would entail or extend over the course of the season, expanding the map size. Okay. So the catalyst of this was to uh, an epic ship, ship crash in the north end, which is new real estate. Now, the north end is over by artillery, guys. So that whole backside is all knocked out, blown up. We got a whole new section of the map. To achieve this, they uh, more attractive drop points on the northeastern part of the map. Improved rotations of our northern locations run off artillery containment pit. The easing of third partying by adding an entirely new section of the map. Thinning out densely packed smaller POIs for more breathing room and reduced combat choke points. A new map mechanic that can create a create on the fly high ground and gain power position. New armories scattered across the map to help you gear up quickly uh requiring a bit of forethought when looting okay so basically what this is saying is that the north the northern locations or the northwestern part of the map has the biggest section of like drops so more people are dropping on that side of the map than anywhere else okay and a lot of that is because of the additions of the poi starting with the labs all the way to the back and then you have uh the runoff rotations with pit slums all that's a great rotation so the majority of people dropping are landing on that side of the map okay so they wanted to extend it if the majority of people are going to land over there they're extending the map to that side which is great okay i love the fact that they're going to reduce the um the choke points this is great especially coming in for ranked because ranked a season ago on king's canyon was a nightmare okay third parties pretty much were all over the place because everybody was only in the northern part of the map hardly ever in the southern part of the map so it was a nightmare so i hope this this increases it so we got crash site fuses debut blows up a big section of the map and now uh look at this it's over here is artillery so we got a whole new section of the map okay the ship itself, King of the Hill power position, so you can go up onto the ship with multiple ramps and scuffles surrounding it and create a jungle gym of interesting gameplay. To the left and right of the ship are multiple eco stations which provide teams plenty of breathing space and loot as they prepare their assault on the ship. So you got the ship that you can be on, all these locations around it. The crash site will also change up how existing areas are experienced. Artillery got caught up in the destruction, like I said, guys. So you got old artillery, new artillery, blown up. You got a whole new section of the map. <laughs> The tunnel east of artillery led to containment is also hit by the sabotage so you're going to be able to rotate through there which is really really sweet spotted lakes so you got a lake over here this is by slums so you got a whole new added section which rotates right into slums okay it's uh full of water and more eco locations which is really cool the tent structures uh create some intense close quarter opportunities with fast vertical zip lines to take you out so this is good. You got some close quarter stuff, and then you got all these zip lines right here, guys, to be able to get in and out, right? That's going to be interesting. Uncovered bones. One of the drawbacks to Slum Lakes was the difficulty rotating to and from the POI. Uh, yes. If you didn't land there first, yes. But if you if the zone is going there, rotating in and out was very tough. We also looked at making it easier to access runoff and airbase. I mean, both of those were pretty accessible. They, I mean, there's multiple jump pads or you know, jump towers to get in and out of those places. So I don't know. I, I felt like it's pretty easy to get to those. Uh, the new pathway offers a scenic route and an easy drop into runoff, which in turn should make the northeastern part of the map more desirable and as a drop location. So you can actually go low. That's kind of cool. Go underneath. Yeah, you can kind of go underneath. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. The crossings situated uh, down the length of the river, the eco outposts, which set up survey to test the water supply, the bridges. 
Observation towers. What are these? The four towers can be found in eco camps. The observation towers are perches that can be raised to gain an overview of the surrounding area. Uh, they can only be raised once during interacting with the wall panel. Uh, the sound of the towers rising is a fair distance. Okay, so cool. Your team can get up there. Cool. So it's kind of like the towers on um, World's Edge. Explosive holds. When a ship came crashing down, several uh, mobile armories that were being stored in its cargo were lost and scattered around Kings Canyon. Although they require security clearance to open them, crafty legends have discovered that a well-placed ordinance can blow up the blow the doors open, gaining access to weapon, ammo, and uh, valuable attachments. So these are kind of these are basically just the vaults from World's Edge, guys. So you have armories which you can get access to. All you need to do is just throw a frag, throw a minor arc star to blow the door open. That's kind of cool. That makes it easier than getting a vault key. Spot the difference. Uh, so they've actually changed up the POIs here. So they've kind of just made some changes to these. More breathing space. Um, which is kind of nice. I mean, that's cool. You must know bunkers from Season 5 all caved. Okay, so they all got caved in all those bunkers. I don't people. I don't think... The bunkers were a great idea, guys. I just don't think they they utilized them very well. Like, no, it was so hard to get, you know, to open them and then get inside, and then the loot just wasn't that great. The best one was probably over by, um, like, Old Skull Town. That one was probably the easiest to get by, too. But I think the map changes are going to be really great, guys. I think um, I'm very excited to uh, see this new area. I think because of the northern part of the map has just been the biggest area. Like, everything's over there. Like no POIs to the south are just are just like in any contention. Ever since they got rid of Skull Town, guys, like like it just hasn't been that good. Hasn't been that good. The northern part of the map is just the best part to be at. So I hope this makes it really, really good. Again, it does suck for the southern part of the map. It's not going to be as great, but I think that the goals for Kings Canyon coming up, especially for ranked, is going to be amazing. Okay, they do need to make a change to the southern part of the map, but with that said. I think these map changes are going to be awesome. I can't wait to test them out. The vaults, or not the vaults, but the armories are going to be awesome. You can just access them very easily. The rotations and choke points being reduced are going to be great. That's what made World's Edge so good because it only had those three choke points. And really, you can get around them fairly easily. So, I think that this new addition to Kings Canyon is going to be great. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what do you guys think about these uh, map changes coming to Kings Canyon. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more Apex news and tips videos. For me, Warlock, as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.